You know, we all come to love certain TV or movie characters, and let's face it, Henry Winkler will always be the Fonz from the hit show Happy Days. He's had many other fantastic TV and movie roles, but this morning he is not acting when it comes to sharing a very personal story that may even help you or a loved one. Here he is, Henry Winkler live this morning, and he's joined by a local neurologist, Dr. Jack Shima, also a professor at Good UC morning. San Diego. Good morning, guys. How Hi. are you? Doing good. We're doing, doing well. Good. Such a pleasure to have you guys. But Henry, I would like to start with you. Before Thank we get to the personal story that you want to share, let's talk about what you're up to professionally these days. We were chatting behind the scenes just a short time ago. You are a very busy man. I'm having a great time. Uh, Arrested Development just started on Netflix. Uh, the Children's Hospital is uh, coming on again this summer on the Cartoon Network, and I'm going to New York to shoot uh, Royal Pains. Yeah. And the only adult book that I wrote uh, about fly fishing for like trout. Down. Is it? Oh my goodness! That's how good a, um, uh, an author I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it just came out in paperback, uh, and uh, it's photographs that I've taken while fly fishing for trout, and stories of stuff that I've learned that I can apply to my life. Uh, we're going to ask and uh, talk about stroke in just a moment, but. Um I wanted to ask you about, you became a cultural icon when you played the Fonz in Happy Days, of course, and I think the leather jackets in the Smithsonian. And Henry, I read, and I wanted to yeah. ask you this, because I heard that uh, when they were auditioning for the Fonz, all the actors, they gave you a comb, and they said, we want to see how you would comb your hair, because the Fonz, they want somebody with some swagger and some attitude. And when they gave you the comb, you picked it up, you looked at yourself in the mirror, and put the comb down, and you're like, I'm good. And they were like, that's our guy. Is that a true story? All right, it is, uh, that's almost a true story. Oh uh, it was exactly during the, the filming of the pilot. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the uh, filming of the pilot. Uh, I promised myself as an actor that I would never comb my hair because everybody who's played a character like the Fonz has always combed their hair. True. Mm -hmm. They said, no, you've got to go to the mirror and comb your hair. I pulled out the comb. I brought it up to my hair and I went, whoa, I don't have to, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. And you know, though, right now your most important role is why you and Dr. Shim are here with us this morning. I understand you were your mother's caretaker after she had a stroke. I lost an uncle not too long ago after a stroke. And with National Stroke Awareness Month, you kind of want to share your personal story. Can you tell us about it? Well, for the last three years, I have been the ambassador for a brand new therapy that my mother never was privy to. It is a therapeutic use of Botox for upper limb spasticity. Uh, and the doctor, uh, you know, really knows uh, about stroke and uh, how that happens in the body. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Shin, let's bring you in. You you're a real doctor. Yes. You're not a TV doc. This is legit. Uh, and you're from San Diego. When it comes to stroke and uh, is it upper limb spasticity, as Henry just mentioned, how common is it? What is it? And how does that typically occur? Well, so stroke is a common occurrence, unfortunately. And about a third of people who have stroke don't survive. Of the survivors, a large fraction, two thirds or so, are left with some degree of disability. About 900,000 people in the United States have upper limb spasticity as a consequence of stroke. Wow. What's the impact in treatment on a person's life as, even, as well as their family? Well, you know, to begin with, you have to look at what's the impact of having the problem. So people who have upper limb spasticity have pain. They have difficulty keeping their hand clean because the nails may be embedded in the palm. It can throw their balance off. It makes it difficult to do just basic day-to-day -day things like eat, get dressed, go to the bathroom. Wow. So treatment can relax the muscles. Botox is injected into tight muscles, and it relaxes the muscles that it's injected into. Mm -hmm. As a result of that treatment, people can do things that they may not have been able to do before, right. like make their bed more easily, right. get Basic, their arm yeah. through the sleeve of a sweater. Yeah. Dr. Shim, thank you so much. And uh, Henry Winkler, thank you. Nice to talk to you. Quick plug. Was there a website that you wanted to mention really quickly? Go for it. You've got just a Yes. www.resourcesforuls.com. Resourcesforuls.com. Oh, great talking to you guys this morning. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.